State Environment Protection Policy, Waters of Victoria, requires that all wastewater is contained on the site that has produced the wastewater. Our goal with an on-site wastewater treatment system is to dispose or reuse treated wastewater via deep seepage and evapotranspiration. The method of disposal or reuse will depend primarily on the volume of wastewater, rainfall, the risk to surrounding properties and watercourses, and of course the surface and subsurface conditions. A critical element of the land capability process is to adequately characterise the soil profile in terms of its thickness, permeability, especially of the limiting layer, and ability to attenuate nutrients. This characterization needs to be determined in detail by boreholes or excavations to a depth of two meters or refusal. In situ, permeability testing of the limiting layer, except in the case of dispersive and or swelling soils and or if seasonal soil moistures are too high and laboratory testing to quantify soil reaction trend, electrical conductivity, swell potential, colloid stability and amelioration requirements. In Victoria, you are most likely to encounter a clayey soil horizon over the planned land application area. This is the limiting layer, which requires detailed characterization. In Victoria, many soils are problematic with undesirable characteristics including low permeability, dispersive clays and high swelling clays. These undesirable soil characteristics can be ameliorated by methods including addition of gypsum and or lime, allowing your on-site system to function satisfactorily. If the characterization is not done satisfactorily, your on-site system will be designed by guesswork. This can result in system failures such as foul smells, effluent at the surface, effluent leaking to neighbour's property or watercourses. Repairs are often very costly and inconvenient. We recommend that you choose our highly qualified and experienced team for your land capability assessment and on-site wastewater treatment design.